Hey guys, Tiju22 here, and welcome back to Tiju22 Talks. So, stars, I would like to introduce my next guest, but before I do, I may as well talk about a little bit about my previous guest, who was uh, Moogle Fantasy. And I gotta tell you, Moogle Fantasy was everything that I could have asked for, especially with uh, the fact that uh, this particular interview was uh, better than the first one. Uh, do check it out when you get a chance to. But my next guest is a pretty awesome guy uh, that I met through some equally awesome people. And we'll tell you more about uh, those guys in a moment. But I'd like to take the time to introduce my guest. And his name is... John C. <laughs> Jared Sem42, hello everybody. <laughs> I just wanted to do the John Cena thing, but <laughs> that was pretty good. Yeah, uh, and uh, believe it or not, this is take two of the interview because the first take was done on Discord, and that it, I'm so, I was so upset the fact that it just wasn't working out. So uh, so here we are again, and uh, without wasting any more time. Um, how's everything going, Jared? Everything is going very well. I'm a happy person today. Yeah, although I wish I could say the same about everything that's going on out there. Um, with As of the time that we're recording this, uh, the hurricanes, uh, I hope by, by the time this gets out uh, or is, is posted, um, everything will have settled down, but it's nothing to... It's nothing that I want to remember. It's something I would like to forget. Yeah, same. But I guess let's get on with the show, and I may as well ask uh, my usual first question, and that is, uh, how did you get into the YouTube business? Well, I got into the YouTube business when I started watching a lot of Let's Players doing their thing, and I thought to myself, hey, I can do this too. So in 2011, I created my YouTube channel, Jared742, and I started Let's Playing um, when I created my channel. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, I mean, of course, I know where Jared comes from. I mean, that's your name, but... Where does the seven and the four and the two come from? Uh, just random. I couldn't really think of anything when I created my YouTube channel. Oh, that's that's interesting. Because usually there's uh, there's always a story behind the numbers. For I think I might actually change my name soon. Oh goodness. Uh, well. My YouTube name, not my real name, of course. Oh well. See, I mean, it takes a while to go through the court system to change your name. Um, but, well, I, I hope it's just as equally good as it is now, because I like it as it is. It's fine. Oh, you do? That's good. I mean, I mean, but that's just me, though. I mean, and again, that's only one man's opinion, but just take that for what you will. Okay. Okay, but, so you said you watched, uh, Let's Players. Who are some of the ones that you were inspired by? Uh, Chug Conroy, Nintendo Capri Sun... I think also Banana Pie Lord. Oh, okay, that's 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 a new one. I've never heard of him. And I think that's it. And when I started Let's Playing, I found more Let's Players, and I started watching them. Oh yeah, and you might tell you might who knows uh, they might be some of our friends, which we'll talk to about in a moment, but. Uh... But, I mean, that's interesting how you got into uh, the LP business, and um, um, I wondered if you could talk to us about the um, Let's Plays you've done in the past, if you'd like. Um, in the past, I did a lot of games, mostly role-playing games, because... RPGs are my favorite genre, specifically JRPGs. Yes, and not Jason RPG, but you know who, what we mean. Japanese RPGs. Oh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, 
some of the games that you've done in the past, uh, like there's the Mother 3 translation. Like, I remember that one. Yeah. I've also done a few Pokemon games. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did do that. They were, they I were did good. Super Mario RPG. Oh, yeah, I should definitely watch that when I get a chance to. I did Chrono Trigger. Oh, yeah, and I was watching the very first episode, and I was like, oh, my God, Jarrett has really grown. Done Earthbound Mother 1. Oh, yeah, that's right. You did do that. In fact, I was enjoying that one quite a lot, actually. Yeah, and I will do many more RPGs in the future when I have time. Okay. All right, so let me just set up here. Uh, well, I, I look forward to your next game, and uh, but some of the RPGs that or JRPGs that you're interested in, uh, I mean, there's there's so many I could just we could probably run down a list of it by itself. Uh, I believe uh, we talked about what is it, uh, Dragon Quest. Yes, I have never played a Dragon Quest game, but I would like to sometime in the future. Yeah, like, uh, some of the ones that I was the most interested in were the, was, uh, 4, 5, 6. Uh, that was my, those were my very favorite trilogy of games there. Yeah, I think those are known as some of the best in the series. Yeah, and, and ho hopefully one of these days uh, there will be one for the Switch. Oh yeah. If I mean, if not on Virtual Console, I mean it's it's whatever. But but uh, but they do look like fun games. Yes, they really do. And then let's see what else. Um, of course, we can't forget Final Fantasy. Yeah, the most famous JRPG series of all time. Um, I'm actually kind of new to Final Fantasy. I played the first Final Fantasy in maybe of May, July of 2016. Okay. And then right after that, I played Final Fantasy VI. And just recently, I beat Final Fantasy X, and it was absolutely amazing. Yes, uh, I mean, you have great gameplay, you have uh, fantastic graphics, especially for its time. Yeah, fantastic music also. Yeah, and great characters. Yep, and also a fantastic story. Yep, but of course not all that, that glitters is golden, because uh, there's always that one part that always scars a lot of children. And that is. Ah ha 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 Oh my god, it's hilarious. I think and the Japanese version is worse. Really? Yes, it is. Really? Yes, you should see it sometime later. Oh god, really? Okay. Okay. Um anyway. I forgot what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. Uh, then of course there's Blitzball, like oh god. Oh no, not Blitzball. That was, like, the worst thing in the game for me. Was it the fact that you had to play a game in spite of the fact that you didn't know what the hell you were doing? Exactly. But I'm happy it's it's done. Yeah. No but, more Blitzball, ever. Yeah. Unless uh, I want to play the game again, which I probably will. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, hidden secrets and a lot of collectibles in that game. Yeah, it's a huge game. I mean, uh, let's see. Wait, what were what were the other Final Fantasy games you did play a little bit? Uh, 
Well, I beat one and six. Oh, one. Of course, you can't forget one because that's the one that started it all. And six. And I'm probably the only person on this planet who doesn't like six that much. Oh. Well, I mean, I could see that, you know, if it, you know, I I don't know. I, it's, yeah, the story, is it the story or is it the game itself or is there some other factor of it? That... Yeah, I think it's the story. Oh. But is it a bad game? Absolutely not. I just didn't like it. Well, I mean, it, the story is kind of sad for the most part. Uh, yeah, you're right about that. I mean, if that's the case, I could see why no one would want to play it. I mean, uh, same thing with uh, 7 to an extent, although at least it had a much better, uh, happier send-off. But I really need to play 7. Yeah, and in fact, 7 and 6 were played by um, our good friend uh, Jason RPG, which, again, we'll talk about later, but or who we'll talk about later, excuse me. Uh but yeah, those are great games, and so far you have great tasting games, uh, including the uh, the Tales series. Oh, I love the Tales series. I've played seven games in that. Wow. And here are a few honorable mentions. Tales of Berseria, the newest game in the series and easily my favorite. Okay. Tales of Vesperia for the PS3 and Xbox 360. It has an amazing story, characters, graphics, music. Oh, yeah, that's Pretty good. Pretty much everything, but the PS3 version was never localized. But there is a fan translation of it. Oh, yeah. Uh, don't you have to download uh, Homebrew for that? Yes, I do. Oh, God. that See, that's another reason why I don't have that, because I don't trust it. Well, I will do it sometime in the future, just not now. Well, I just hope you know what you're doing with that, because I, I know I don't. I, I wouldn't. But that's just me, though. Um, let's see. There's also uh, Tales of Symphonia. Uh, which was my first Tales game, and is still amazing to this day. Oh, yeah. Uh, with with uh, Colette and... Uh, Christopher, no wait, uh, uh, Colette. Lloyd Irving. Lloyd Irving, yeah. I was gonna say Christopher Lloyd, but that's not it. <laughs> and Kratos. Yeah, and Kratos is a very interesting character, which, uh, you'll have to play the game to know exactly what we're talking about. Because I've seen an LP, uh, in its entirety by, uh, another good friend of ours, which, again, we'll talk about later. Uh, let's see. Uh, Tales of Zillia. I have that game, but I have not played it yet. And from what I can tell you, without spoiling anything, the the story is amazing, and it just puts you on the edge of your seat, at least in terms of the narrative. The gameplay is pretty good. Oh, wow, I'm excited. Yeah, and you just can't hide it. Yep. You're about to lose control, and I think you'll like it. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, I, I've. Yeah, I, I, I like that song. Let's see. Oh, you mentioned uh, Xenoblade or the Xeno series. Oh, I love the Xeno series. It's my favorite series of all time. I haven't played every single game in that series, but but I played through all of Xenoblade, Xenoblade Chronicles X, and Xenogears, and I am so excited for Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Oh yeah, I've heard a lot of uh, hype about that game. Like the first game featured uh, Shulk, uh, yeah, and, and the Monado. And this game has a completely new cast. Oh, yes. Like, from what I've seen in the trailers, it looks pretty... For lack of It better, looks beautiful. It, yeah, it looks beautiful, but I was about to talk about the, the, the action being all kick-ass. Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's pretty kick-ass, I'm telling you. Uh, but, but um, 
but as for the characters, they look good. Uh, again, we don't know much about the story, but I hope you enjoy it. Yeah, I know I will. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could say, you're really feeling it. Oh, good one. <sighs> yeah, I, I had to do it. I, I had to do it. The best meme ever. But but then uh, there's one series that uh, I most re recognize you by. And in fact, so much so that I call you Mr. Persona. Yes, everyone, I absolutely love the Persona series. It's just so amazing. It, it's a, it's tremendous, uh, like, especially the last two. Yeah, four golden and five. Both are my favorite Persona game. Oh, yeah, like, um, well, I've, like, the first one, the very first one, looks nothing like the later games that it, came out to be like it, it does not look like the anime game that it became yeah and neither does the second game and i need to play the first two someday i've only played three four golden five and q oh yeah and like i i've seen mostly of uh five and five looks like in terms of the gameplay, it looks great. Like it Five looks... is utterly stylish. Oh yeah, and especially the fact that hell, even the costumes that the uh, that the kids wear, they look badass. Yes, they are. I wonder, Jared, who would you look like if you had to dress up like? Like a Persona character? Yeah. Ryuji. Ryu... Uh... Ryuji Sakamoto. I look the most like him. Oh, oh, you mean Skull? Yes. Yeah, Skull is... Yeah, Skull is pretty badass. Very badass. Uh, and then there's... There's Anne... I, I can't pronounce her last name. Anne Takamaki? Yeah. Or Lady On, as uh, this this creature known as Morgana would call her. Yep. And heck, even uh, Morgana, who's this cat-like creature. There's so much mystery about Morgana and all and most everybody else that uh, is in the game, and we have just barely scratched the surface there. Yeah, it's a 120-hour game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, and then my favorite character from the fourth game, hands down, has to be uh, Chie. Chie is an awesome girl. She's brave, she's strong, she loves meat. Everything is awesome about her. Oh, my God. I mean, in fact, uh, uh, quite a bit of the fanboys love her for... Quite of a myriad of other reasons, but um, but I like her just because, well, because of her unique, um, I think it's her clothing. The fact that she wears that green and it just stands out. Yes, it does. But, but anything else you want to say about the Persona series before we go to the next topic? Um, if I do... And then it'll just take several more minutes, so no. There is one more RPG that I want to talk about, though. All right, tell them. And that RPG is Eternal Sonata. Oh, one of the yeah. Most games of all time. Like, Eternal Sonata just is so unique. It is amazing characters. Yes. Just an amazing story. Like, it's so profound. And the music, oh my gosh, it's easily the best part. 
Yeah, in fact, it's uh, an RPG that's uh, somewhat loosely related to music. Yeah. I mean, you have Allegretto, you have Beat, you have uh, Salsa. Both. You have a lot of characters named after musical terms. And I believe we have a guy by the name of uh, Fedric. Yes, the main character of the game. Or is he? Yeah, that's the question. So, before we say anything that might spoil it, um, do check it out. In fact, uh, my good friend uh, Moogle Fantasy, my previous guest, did an LP of that game. So I guess if you want to check that out, you could just check it out from him. Or you could just play it yourself. In my opinion, Eternal Sonata is the most underrated game ever made. Well, yeah, because uh, people don't make a big deal out of it the way they do with Persona, and for good reason. But yeah, but uh, but yeah, that game is a pretty damn good one at that. Yeah, it was released for the Xbox 360 in 2007 and PS3 version in 2008. And the PS3 version is the best one, like most RPGs are. So, yeah. It's an excellent game, but it's sad that it's underrated. Well, who knows? Maybe through this, uh, people will go and buy it. I don't know. I mean, I, I don't consider yeah. myself famous. Uh, but but for, for those of you that are watching this, I hope you do get a chance. If you ever get a chance to play it, um, I don't know if you can buy it on... Uh, uh, what is it? PSN on the PA. I uh, know. Uh, well, actually, well, you can buy the Xbox 360 version digitally, but not the PS3 version, which is kind of ridiculous. Well, yeah, I mean, because it's like, or or maybe even on the PS4, like, okay, maybe you don't want to do it for the PS3. That's fine, but the PS4, come on, man, you got to have that available. Oh people. my gosh, my stupid cat is meowing. Well, I couldn't hear it. Oh, good. But yeah, 